This short video will illustrate the bleaching of a food dye with sodium hypochlorite and the monitoring of the change in absorbance using a vernier spectrometer. First, let's see the reaction. The dye is Allura Red, also known as FDNC Red Dye Number 40. We can tell the dye is reacting because the color of the solution goes away. Let's see what happens if we perform the reaction with the same dye concentration, but with different bleach concentrations. In which beaker is the reaction going faster? Is this what you expect to see? Now let's try it again with the same bleach concentration, but with different dye concentrations. In which beaker is the reaction going faster? Is this what you expect to see? In order to follow the dye concentration, the reaction will need to be performed in a cuvette located in a spectrometer. By monitoring the absorbance of the dye, we can use Beer's Law to determine the concentration of the dye. But the reactions just shown are too fast. The reaction will be over before we can get the reaction mixture into the spectrometer. We will have to slow the reaction down quite a bit to make good measurements. This is best accomplished by lowering the bleach concentration. Let's see how this can be done. First, mix known amounts of the dye and the bleach in a beaker on a stir plate. You of course know why stirring is necessary. Next, remove an aliquot of the reaction mixture and put it in a cuvette. Put the cuvette in a previously calibrated spectrometer. Now you can read and record the absorbance as a function of time.